Hey guys, so this is Chelsea from Lancaster, PA. Um, I own attention to details here and I wanted to kind of introduce myself to you. I didn't really get to do that on a formal level. But first and foremost, thanks for checking out my page. I really appreciate it. This is kind of new territory for me. Um, I'm not super comfortable with talking to a camera. I may look off a lot because I think I'm a little ADHD, but um, my neighbors probably think I'm crazy right about now for talking to my phone for such an, a long period of time. But anyways, I wanted to kind of introduce myself to you. I've been detailing professionally for about three years. I wouldn't even call myself a pro. I still have a lot to learn, but I've learned a lot since I started this business. Um, but as far as owning a business, it's been in operation for three years. It is a home-based auto detailing business. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have two beautiful kids and one is still in preschool. And so having the home-based detailing business has definitely given me the uh, flexibility that I need with her schedule for school and also allowed my family and I to kind of be in a better position financially. Uh, detailing has always been something that I love to do. Uh, my dad is a Marine and my chore was always to do cars. So even if it was raining, he'd send me outside and say, hey, prime opportunity to wash the car, go on out it. And I don't know why, but I just loved it. And then I married my husband and he was a car guy and he kind of helped teach me some things. And uh, you know, I just, once we got married, I took over cleaning the cars and he graciously you know, allowed me to do that. But when my neighbor came up to me one day and he's like, hey, you do really great work. Why don't you consider putting your information on the Nextdoor app? I was like, okay, that's a little intimidating, but uh, I put my information out there as far as you know my name, my address. I kind of put together a rough idea of what I should bring in an hourly rate, and then also what kind of packages I offered. And before I knew it, I had you know two to three works worth of details scheduled, and that was really exciting to me. So, I mean, I did the, the official thing. I, I got a business license, um, you know, I filed an EIN, I opened a business banking uh, account, I got insurance, I got business cards made so that I could be a little bit more professional and also protect myself financially. And um, yeah, it's, it's just been crazy to see where this business has grown in the last three years. And it's been solely through Nextdoor app Facebook business outlets and I did create my own website but that's more for the rare customer that doesn't have Facebook that they're like what are your prices and I can kind of point them to that but uh, it's crazy what social media has done for the detailing industry period I know that I'm pretty much self-taught I have never been to any sort of you know certification classes or training or things like that as much as I would love to my schedule is never really allowed for it um, or they're never really nearby and I'm not looking to fly across the country to get some training. But YouTube has definitely provided a huge outlet for me to be able to self-educate myself and also get connected with the right people. You know, even on Facebook, um, being a part of different Facebook groups, detailing groups, and just finding guys and girls who are passionate about this industry. Guys like Scott from Dallas Paint Correction, Ryan Harrison over at Raindrops Detailing Supply, Brian Spittler from Apex Detail, um, you know, and just all the other great guys and girls that I've connected with over the years. They've just poured themselves into teaching other people like myself about detailing. And, you know, it's just put me in a place where my family and I are, you know, better off financially and it's empowered me as a female to just be able to provide this service to people and it's really exciting to see. But, you know, so that's a little bit of introduction about who I am and how I got my start. But I wanted to, real quick, challenge some of you guys. I've had a lot of guys message me lately asking me about prices, packages, or even something like the customer, um, you know, there's this car I'm working on and it's really bad, it needs to be polished, but the customer isn't paying me to do it should I do it and I'm like is is this a trick question like I don't understand I don't understand how you're struggling with this um, you know we hear a lot of times within different detailing you know forums and stuff like that under promise over deliver I feel like it's the mantra for a lot of detailers and it is a great one to live by but there's a difference between over delivering and giving something away for free and so like the little bit of advice that I can share with some of you guys, especially who are just starting out, 
being I, I, I'm not a pro by any means like I said and I'm still learning I'm still you know figuring things out but the number one thing that you can know about yourself is to know your worth and don't give a service away for free if the customer could potentially pay for that service in the future um, I think most of my customers that I've dealt with they understand that what I do requires a level of skill um, a level of competence to be able to you know handle the job it's physically demanding um, so they're willing to pay me for the job that I'm doing because they know I'm going to do it with excellence and so if a customer is coming to you and their car you know it needs a polish work or maybe you're doing the outside and the inside is really dirty and you're thinking I'm gonna over deliver and I'm gonna vacuum the inside out for free and, and trust me I've done that I've been there or you feel the, the need to polish it because you know there's swirls or scratches or things like that like you've got to get the paint to perfection because you always see these awesome before and after pictures online and you're like oh I've got to keep up with that um, I want to encourage you try to resist that urge to feel like you've got to just give the world away to your customers um, more often than not they're gonna be willing to pay for that service like I said so you could go to the customer you know for example say mr. Jones I notice at the end of the detail that you're starting to have some oxidation on the paint and I really recommend that you consider getting a paint polishing package because if you don't remove that oxygen oxidation from the clear coat it could eventually lead to clear coat failure and then you're looking at a, a complete repaint of your vehicle so it's better to do the maintenance up front and remove that now before it becomes problematic in the future nine times out of ten the customers gonna say oh thank you for for letting me know let's get that scheduled and you could even say if, if they're like oh, I don't know about that I just spent a lot of money here you could say okay well if you're willing to schedule it in the next three months you know I'd be willing to consider 10% off of the future service considering I don't have as much prep work to do because I've already washed the vehicle done the road film removal decontaminated it maybe with a clay bar polish so you know that's kind of the angle that you can take with that but you know for those guys that are just starting out and trying to figure out your hours you know your hourly rate and things like that I just encourage you to know your worth you know don't try to compete with a market that's nowhere near you if you're in Iowa you know kind of in the middle of nowhere or Missouri or something like that don't try to compete with the Dallas's or the Philadelphia's or the New Jersey's where the economy is completely different 45 minutes you know north and east of me is a completely different market than where I'm at surprisingly enough I mean I could charge anywhere from 400 to 600 for a ceramic coating and 45 minutes away they're getting 1200 to 1500 dollars so you know don't don't try to compete with markets that are kind of beyond what your economy can support and don't give services away for free when a customer could very well be willing to pay for it in the near future so I know I've kind of been all over the place, but I at least wanted to introduce myself and kind of encourage some of the guys that have reached out to me lately about pricing, you know, and kind of what to offer. But if you guys ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm always here to help. Like I said, I may not know everything, but what I have learned, um, I just, you know, I want to share and hopefully, you know, better the detailing industry and better you as an individual detailer. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day and we'll see you on the next video.